been a source of water and of healing, um, certainly um, from the 15th century, but probably before. Um, so it's a very special place and a very special occasion. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Heavenly Father, we have gathered here to honour your presence in creation and in the human race that honours your name. We honour your presence in Jesus Christ and we ask you to make us aware of the sacredness of all that you have created through Christ our Lord. Amen. no money come buy and eat come buy wine and milk without money and without price why do you spend your money for that which is not bread and your labor for that which does not satisfy hearten diligently to, diligently to me and eat what is good and the, delight yourself in fatness incline your ear and come to me hear that your soul may live and I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When can I enter and see the face of God? My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. Oh, send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. Come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scriptures have said, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now this is said about the Spirit which those who believed in him were to receive. This is the Gospel of the Lord. But of course we've actually returned now in the 21st century to a sense of how important water is. Um, it's, it's both uh, dangerous and life-giving. We're obviously thinking of the people in Pakistan at the moment and they say that uh, if the 20th century was a century when the tensions were about oil and energy, it's this century that all our issues will be about water. So we probably return to a sense of the centrality of water. Jesus is baptised in the River Jordan to underline the sacredness of all creation. We're told that um, he, he, in fact, is blessed by the waters that he blesses himself. This is God coming to demonstrate, to point to the sacredness of everything God has created. So what we're not doing here is making this water something it isn't. It's already something that um, is a sign of our dependence on God and on God's desire to give us life and to heal us constantly. What we're doing is reminding ourselves, bringing to mind um, something that is so precious and important. And maybe we're also committing ourselves to the sacredness of all creation and um, committing ourselves to making people aware, making ourselves aware how vulnerable and precious it is to, to look after God's creation. This water gives fruitfulness to the fields and refreshing, refreshment and cleansing to us. You chose water to show your goodness when you led your people Israel to freedom through the Red Sea. 
you satisfied their thirst in the desert with water from the rock. Water was a symbol used by the prophets to foretell your new covenant with us. You made the water of baptism holy by Christ's baptism in the Jordan River. By it you give new birth and you renew us in holiness. May this water remind us of our creation and our baptism into Jesus Christ. And let us share that joy with all whom you call to your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the love of the Lord Jesus Christ, the source of all life, be a foundation for your faith. May he, you find in him the forgiveness of your sins and the promise of eternal life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you and all those whom you love this day and forevermore. Amen. God and King, lift up your voice and with us